Don't take what doesn't belong to you. Pay back what you owe. It's important for us also to um, not to take things that doesn't belong to us because we, we need to be role models in being trustworthy and honest, showing integrity to others and uh, being accountable. It's telling us not to take what doesn't belong to us. Like, you know, you can respect that thing, but don't don't take it don't take it as as for your own. So I'm not allowed to take someone's car; it's not mine. Like, I think we need to remind church leaders because sometimes it has happened in the past where church leaders have taken money that hasn't belonged to them, that belongs to the church community, um, and I think they need to be reminded that it's the it's the church community's money, not their own money. But it's the church's money, it belongs to them. And, and people are given money to the church out of trust. And they hope that the church will use that money for, for the church's business. So I think it's important that leaders respect that that money has been given for a purpose. I think, I think it's important for the church to know that, that when money's being counted, there's a few people there who are taking responsibility for it. I also think it's important for the leader that they can say, well, I've set up these steps so that you can trust me because there's a number of people counting the money and I'm not left with the money my own. And it protects them also from false accusation should something go, go wrong. We're all vulnerable to temptation in some ways. So I think sometimes it's helpful for, for steps to be put in place so that those temptations are taken out of the way. If the, if the church leader or church worker have gained the trust of anyone within the community, you, your own family or your neighbour or the stranger down the street, you know, um, if, when that trust is there, um, sometimes it can be abused in a way by thinking that, oh, that's okay, I can go and use this or that uh, for whatever purposes or the intentions behind it, but not, not knowing that, um, you know, you're actually breaching the trust as well. And there's also cultural protocols within communities as well about, respect, about respecting each other's uh, land or house or you know wherever they live. Uh, especially in our Aboriginal community, our Aboriginal community, when when someone takes something that's not theirs, or doesn't pay what should be paid for something, um, then it really affects the whole community because it's a close knit community, and once you um, destroy the trust that people have in you. It's really hard to get that back.